Uh, we're going to do a, a session on uh, cat preparation. I'm, I'm not hearing any complaints, so I'm thinking that the, the things are fine. Uh, we've got plenty of questions, scores of questions. So we, we are going to post a bunch of questions. We're going to look to clear out the list of questions that we have and then jump in and uh, do the questions on the dashboard. So hang in there. I'm going to do this in a sequence. We're going to first do a bunch of questions which are on, uh, on, the, on the basis of profile. And this is my profile. What should I do? What should be the ideal percentile to, to crack this exam? And uh, then we'll go on to preparation strategy. And what should be the preparation strategy overall for quant, DLR, VRC? Uh, then about revision, then about putting all of them together, leading on to mocks. Right? Then we'll go to the old chestnut, uh, how to stay motivated, how to how to push yourself through ups and downs in the cycle. Then the bunch of questions we want to cover, part four will be on work experience, internship. Can I call this as experience? Uh, what kind of work experience counts? How do I build profile? What certifications are valuable? What should I do? Those kind of questions. Then do a, a very quick detour to mocks, then cover everything else. Fine. So that's the order we're going to do. First, we're, focus on, we're going to focus on profile based. What do we do? To, with this percentage, do I have a chance? I've got uh, 71 in 10th standard, 72 in 12th, 7.07 CPI in electrical engineering. I'm scoring this. Do I have a chance with the top colleges? And I've got variants of this. Uh, what do I do? What are my chances with uh, different colleges based on whatever I've scored so far? And so first up, there is no correct answer to this. This answer has to be freakishly customized. Uh, and even if it is customized, even if uh, even if somebody takes in your profile and gives you very specific feedback, there is no way of having a comprehensive answer for this. Not from me, not from anybody. And so, so what are the broad guidelines for for getting into the top four five? So the Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Lucknow, the best profiles, the guys with um, uh, nine, uh, ninety plus and tenth, ninety plus and twelfth, and a CGP of more than eight point five or equivalent in their undergraduate. Uh, maybe with two years of experience, they jump in. What should they get? If you're a general engineering male, you're looking at a at a cutoff of 99.6, 99.61. That's been usually the case for Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta. Uh, to some extent, even Lucknow. Lucknow is probably 0 0.1, 0 0.2 lesser, but it's there in the mix. And so the best profiles, you'll need 99.6. Keep that in mind. Anyone who says 99th percentile will get you a call. If you're general engineer male, that is wrong. That is not just uh, mildly wrong, that is way off target. And so if you're a general engineer male, 99 percentile gets you nowhere near ABC. And so uh, if you're looking for ABCL, you need 99.6 if you have the best profile, the kind of profile where uh, uh, you, you know you've got 90 plus in 10th, 90 plus in 12th, and uh, 8.5 plus with two years of experience. And so what if there is a hole somewhere? What if there is a gap somewhere? What if I'm standing at a, an 85, 85 in 10th and 12th and a, and a 7.2 CGPA? If you're kind of average in two or it's deep, very good in two and absolute nightmare in the third. So I'm talking about either 91 in 10th, 82 in 12th and a 7.8 or 91 in 10th, 93 in 12th, but a 6.2. And so if there is a nightmare there in one of the three or two of those are middling, then, uh, for, for, then then it becomes very tricky for Ahmedabad, Bangalore, and perhaps indoor. Indoor usually has an unholy high cutoff, a high percentage allotted to uh, your class 10, 12 scores and UG scores. But, but uh, Calcutta and Lucknow are uh, kind of more friendly. FMS is also friendly. FMS, till about three years ago, they, need, they had gave zero weightage for ACADs. Now they've begun giving weightage for a catch, but it is not, it's not off the charts. Fine. So if you've got uh, uh, two of things going for you, so I have CS, C, CV with me, which is uh, 10 CGPA in 10th, 96.25 in 12th, uh, BA economics honors 6.5, which is it's actually very good. Then you have a chance of pretty much everything. Your UG, if it lets you down, it's minor. Right? Uh, the, the the broader team, suppose you have a nightmare in one and decent in the other two, then even then Bangalore and Indore become tricky. Ahmedabad also is tough. Right? It is not impossible, but you need to get 99.85, 99.9 to get a call. If you've got middling marks in all three, you've got 72, 75, 68 percent, 
then Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Indore, Kurikod, they all pretty much disappear. You're looking at Calcutta, Lucknow, even they are tough and you're looking at FMS. If you're looking to ride in through on the basis purely your CAT score, everything else before that is a nightmare, then FMS is the college you're looking for. That, that absolutely wonderful college, top-notch, uh, wonderful ROI, very low uh, cost and low weightage for ACADs. That's what you're looking for. Right? So having given this background, you'll obviously be able to there are places in the net where you know what your uh, specifics uh, numbers can fetch you, what percentile you need to get. Even the bare minimum, you need to get 99.6. And so you have the best profile, you'll need to get 99.6 to get A, B, C, L. Fine. Remember that. After that, if you're poor in one, then you're looking at 99.75. If you're middling in two, uh, kind of okay, okay in two out of the three, you're looking at 99.9. But as middling to poor in all three, then you can forget about it. Uh, now, what does what is the impact of this? What does this mean? And quite a few people come back and say, "Are the odds are stacked against me? They want to prevent me from from studying." See, all those are kind of negative thoughts that creep in. You want to tell yourself that you don't have a chance, and something the game is rigged against you on day one. And so, don't do that. Don't do that. The, the your analysis is good. Get it out of your system. But this has no bearing on preparation or on CAT. The first barrier to clear is CAT. I've seen so many students who lose an unholy amount of time on just agonizing about their chances and therefore miss out on this exam. And so don't be in that group. Make sure that you give this CAT your best chance. I can tell you hand on heart that 99% of the people who miss out because of their ACADs or who claim to miss out because of their ACADs effectively miss out only because of their CAT. Fine. This is a very important part. You need 99.6. Anyone needs 99.6. Fine. So about 99.6, there are about 600 people who are there, give or take. Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, call about 550, 570 people who have got uh, for, their, for their interviews from general category. And so out of the 600, some 570 get called. So only 30 don't get called of which a bunch would not have even applied for that. And probably 10 guys miss out of Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Calcutta, Lucknow calls because of factors other than their CAT percentile. The other factors would have played their role, but they have not got a CAT percentile to get the call anyway. And it's just a convenient thing to, to bash up. Convenient thing to say, okay, I would have cracked this exam, but for the fact that my ACADs pulled me down. And so don't fall into that trap. Sorry, I'm going to gulp some, some coffee. Don't fall into this trap where you're saying, my background, the, the, they are hand holding it against me. Don't do that. And so get the best CAT score that you can get. You will go places. One, about four years ago, one of our students got 99.67 and dropped us an uh, email saying, I've got 99.67. He said, I don't know where I'll end up. My CAT background is not great, but I'm thrilled to have got 99.67. I know I'll go places. Thanks. We didn't hear from him after the interview. I honestly don't know where he ended up. In, in many, many ways, the 99.67 was a marker for him. He said, look, I prepared for this exam for six months. I'm in the top one third of a percent of people taking this exam, which puts me in the mix. Two lakh people have taken this exam and I'm somewhere in the top 600. I'm thrilled to bits because I got this far. I'll go places. Wherever I go, I'll do well. And so be, be that person where you say, I'm going to get a kick-ass cat percentile and then give myself the best chance for phase two. Don't get caught in this trap of profile. There's there are plenty of dark places in the internet which will uh, give you a fabulous massage. There are groups which, give, which, have, which have been created to say the game is rigged against you, which have been uh, which, where everybody goes and has a good wine. And you go there, you cry, you feel happy about it. And so that's going to take you nowhere. And I'm sorry to be very harsh, but whatever way the game is rigged, it is your job to get the best score possible and give yourself the best chance. If you can change the system, brilliant. Do that. Create that. Be that person. If you can't, this is the hand you've been dealt with. Make sure you give yourself the best chance. If you don't score 99.6, you have no business complaining about ACADs. If you score 99.8 and you miss out on an Ahmedabad call, because of your academics, take it from me, you'll go places. 
you will live a, have a fantastic career you'll probably become a kick ass entrepreneur and recruit a bunch of my mom the bad graduates and so be very clear about it don't don't fall into this trap of uh, of whining about how your acads are against you that said everything top of the line then 99.6 a uh, one thing off 99.75 two things off 99.9 those are the numbers that you need to get for amdavad bangalore calcutta indoor and kohli code lucknow are also tough or the iits iit bombay delhi kharagpur 97 98 will be should should get you a call even with if you catch um iit madras 92 93 you'll get a call great lake 92 93 you'll get a call sp jain 98 99 you'll get a call so these are good colleges where you can go and have a wonderful career after that without having uh, a great academic background prior to this and so plenty of you have asked profile based questions we will look to answer a bunch of them um, offline as well but broadly this these are the numbers you're looking for and, and second step make sure that this is not a reason why you're not preparing and so there's nothing that is going to uh, you'll feel an enormous feeling of regret if you end up with a 99.5 after having spent 6 months whining about how acads have held you back acads are not holding you back your cad score is holding you back keep that in mind 